Welcome back to the Rocky Railway, boys and girls. I'm Conductor Bill, your conductor on this adventure. And I'm so excited to help you sing, have fun, and learn more about how Jesus' power pulls us through each and every day, no matter what twists and turns life has in store. That's why I'm so glad for today's Bible point. Today's Bible point is Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust Jesus! Jesus doesn't just fill us with happy things, Jesus' power is way deeper and way stronger than that. The Bible commands us, be strong and courageous, all who put your hope in the Lord. Jesus' power does this in us. Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust Jesus! And now, we're off to our first stop to meet today's Bible buddy. Are you ready? All aboard! Trust Jesus! Bam! Glad you're back on track at Rocky Railway! Wow, the first day just flew by, didn't it? I'm Ava, a red-tailed hawk. You can find me and my family members all over North America. We're everywhere! Even though we live all across North America, you may not see me in your backyard. <laughs> well, unless you don't have any neighbors. We like to live in wide open spaces where we can soar over treetops, grass, and water looking for food. You might say that red-tailed hawks are faithful friends. When we find a mate, we stay together for life. My fine feathered friend and I build our nest together and care for our chicks together. We're an excellent team. I'm happiest way up in the sky. That's why I build my nest at the tallest point I can find. Some hawk nests have been spotted as high as 120 feet off the ground. That's as high as a human tower of 20 tall crew leaders. My nest might be at the tip top of a tree, or even on the top of a building or a telephone pole. That gives me a bird's eye view of what's around food, friends, or animals that might want to hurt us. Ah, I love soaring with my big, beautiful wings. They're more than three feet across, you know. God gave me just what I needed to catch the wind and just fly. Up here, you see things differently. Stuff that seemed big seems smaller. Things that seemed harder look much easier. A path that looks like a dead end Hey, I can see a way out! A fresh perspective can put the wind under your wings and give you the strength to keep going. Sometimes I spot you humans with my sharp hawk eyes, and you look a little down. Do things seem impossible? Scary? Hopeless? Maybe you need a fresh perspective. Maybe you need to see things Jesus' way, with hope! Jesus is stronger than anything. He has a plan for everything. You can have strength, courage, and hope. The Bible encourages us with these words. So be strong and courageous, all you who put your hope in the Lord. Jesus' power gives us hope. So trust Jesus. Now, boys and girls, it's time for Adventures with Cam Track. Yesterday, our friend Cam Track was here stranded by a rock slide. I wonder if him and his crew were able to move the rocks out of the way. Oh, hey, Cam. Nice of you to stop by. Were you guys able to get the rocks out of the way? Well, my crew worked, and I worked, and we pushed, and we shoved, and we finally got all the boulders off the track. <laughs> they were so heavy, and they ended up damaging the track. And fixing that is a whole other problem, and we're still stuck here. I'm sorry, Cam, but it'll get fixed eventually. Um, eventually is not okay. Do you know what this train is carrying? Mmm, no. This train is carrying M&Ms, and do you know how much people love their M&Ms? And if we can't get the train down the mountain, and we're not able to deliver the M&Ms, then people will get mad at us. And if people get mad at us, then people will start yelling at us. If people start yelling at us, then I'm gonna get scared, because I don't like it when people yell at me. And maybe what I should do is just stay up here where all the angry people will never be able to find me. But then, if, if I do that, then... Oh. Oh. 
Sorry, I think I ran out of steam. Oh my uh, goodness, Cam. Uh, it's okay. It may take a little while, but the track will get fixed. And no one here is mad at you. You're with great friends. And we all think you're pretty cool. No, it's, the situation is just hopeless. I just want to get back in my train and chug away. Choo choo. Cam, don't lose hope. Jesus' power gives us hope. Think about driving your train. Go to your happy place. Driving my train. Going to my happy place. Now think about moving the train and you're going up the hill. You're coming around the bend and you're coming towards the tunnel. It's getting dark. It's getting a little bit darker now. That's okay. Do you see that? There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, open your eyes. Now I really see it. That's hope. It's like the light at the end of a dark tunnel. When things are dark and hopeless, Jesus' power gives us hope. I, it really does make sense to hope in somebody who will never let you down or get mad at you about M&Ms. Hey, stop that. I see what you're doing. Put, put those M&Ms down. Yikes, it looks like your crew's hungry. Those M&Ms are not safe. Knock it off. All right, boys and girls, and parents too, it's time to get up on your feet to sing and worship our all-powerful God. We trust, we trust, we trust in you, Jesus. You're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you. Trusting in you You give us hope And life that's forever You make us bold And we stand together Your power will pull us through We're trusting in you We're trusting in you We're off on this journey There's no looking back With Jesus to lead us We're on the right track Oh, oh. Spaces for wide open eyes. We're looking ahead for the next big surprise. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We trust, we trust, we trust in you, Jesus. You're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you.
bound for glory This train This train is bound for glory This train This train is bound for glory Jesus made a place in heaven for me This train is bound for glory in heaven for me this train is bound for glory this train okay now let's bring it down this train is bound for glory this train this train is bound for glory this train this train is bound for glory Jesus made a place in heaven for me this train is bound for glory this train in heaven for me this train is bound for glory this train this train this train this train all right guys time for our bible adventures today's totally true story from the Bible may get your feet wet as we discover how Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust Jesus. Speaking of hope, I hope we don't run into any problems today. We'll get on a ship and I always get a little seasick out in the open sea, so you might not want to stand too close to me. That could be a huge mistake. But the weather is supposed to be calm, so it sounds like smooth sailing. Ready to go aboard? There's some cargo over there that needs to be stowed on the ship. So would you pretend with me to grab a box? It's really heavy, pick it up, and we're gonna carry it aboard. It's a big step into the boat. Awesome. Oh, I better check this out. Uh-oh. Listen to this. Dear Miss Chrissy, I'm feeling a little green around the gills today, so I won't be able to sail the ship. But you used to sail, so you be in charge. Have a fun voyage, and thanks for your help. The captain. It's been a while since I sailed the ship, but it'll come back to me, sort of like riding a bike, right? Except wetter and with no wheels. All right. Everyone on your feet, let's make this place ship shape. First, help me hoist the sails. Now we're gonna grab a mop and swab the deck. Last thing, haul up the anchor. It's really heavy. Okay, fire up the engines. Oh, that's right, it's Bible time, so there are no engines. We'll have to get power another way. Hmm. I know, we could make our own wind. On the count of three, take a deep breath and we will blow as hard as we can toward the sail. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, that didn't work. How about flapping our arms like a bird? Come on, fly with me, faster! Oh, that's not working either. And besides, I don't think my arms could do that much longer. Oh well, I guess we're stuck until the wind comes up. We might as well sit down. We're powerless to do anything. It's no fun to be powerless. It feels hopeless. But today we're learning about a new kind of power, the power of Jesus. And Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust Jesus. Hey, we have wind. Let's go! Should be an easy trip. Unless that prisoner chained up down below is right. He said our ship would sink, the cargo would float off, and we shouldn't be sailing today. But he's not a sailor, so let's pay no attention to him. 
His name is Paul, and from what I hear, he's a Christian who got in trouble because he keeps telling people about Jesus after God changed his heart from hating Jesus followers to being a Jesus follower. Well, the emperor of Rome doesn't want people following Jesus. The emperor wants people to follow him. But Paul kept talking, and now he's off to Rome to stand trial in front of the emperor himself. I wouldn't want to be in Paul's sandals. Hey, do you feel that? There it is again. I guess that's rain I'm feeling. You know, I'm gonna go below deck and check the charts in case we're heading into bad weather. I'll check on Paul while I'm down there too. While I'm gone, would you mind steering the ship? I'll be right back. Thanks for steering. Bad news, mates. Down below, there's water sloshing around. That means we're heading into rough seas. I hope that Paul guy wasn't right about what's coming our way. Things could get rough, really rough. Whoa, can you feel it? The wind's kicking up. Oh, everybody, lean to the port. That's your left. All right, now starboard. That's to your right. We're gonna try and hug the shoreline before this ship breaks up. Quick, help me, haul in the sails. Pull them down as fast as you can. This storm, it, it just won't stop. It has been going on for days. It's hopeless. Time to lighten up the ship by tossing the cargo. Quick, grab them and throw them overboard. All the boxes. This looks bad. I'll check to see if Paul's still okay. Hunker down till I get back on deck. You're not going to believe this, but Paul said we should eat, that we're gonna need our strength. We, he had these sea biscuits and gave them to us. So everyone, pretend to grab a biscuit and eat it fast. There's good news and bad news. Bad news, Paul says, the ship is going down. Good news, none of us will drown. Paul says, Jesus will take care of us all. And is that the shore over there? I think I see it. It's hard to see through the rain. Anyone else see the shore? Look over there. Well, we'll try for the shore. But I have a tough decision to make. In situations like this, I'm supposed to kill the prisoner so he won't get away. But Paul gave us food and says his friend Jesus will take care of us. So maybe I should let him live. What do you think? Okay, I'll let him go. You down below, unchain the prisoner. Now let's cut those anchors and make for the shore. The storm is getting worse. We're running aground. The ship is breaking apart. You're gonna have to jump overboard and swim for it. I'll count to three, and when I say three, we'll jump overboard. Are you ready? One, two, Freeze! Oh, my heart is racing. Everyone, sit down. I have to sit before my legs give out. Imagine being on that ship as it splintered under you and you dropped into huge waves crashing against the shore. Lightning flashing, wind howling. It must have been awful. But Paul was right. Not one person on that ship was lost. Trusting in Jesus gave them hope in that shipwreck situation. I know that my friendship with Jesus powers up the hope I have. And I'm so glad I know Jesus. And I know that praying about whatever I might be going through, talking with God about it is helpful. I'm so thankful that Jesus' power gives us hope.
Trust Jesus. All right, guys, pause the video for your Bible adventure discussion. See your family packet for the disgusting questions. Guys, it's game time. Pause and see the family packet for the game instructions. And parents, you play too. Guys, it's time for Kid Vid Cinema! My name's Annalise, and I'm 11 years old. Annalise is a singer and accordion player. I started playing the accordion at the age of eight years old. She plays a style of traditional Mexican music called Norteño. I love making music because I feel happy when I make music. I feel like I'm like more closer to God because I sing for Him and I play for Him. When she's not playing music, Annalise loves playing basketball with her brothers and taking care of all the animals on the ranch in Arizona where she lives. On our ranch we have horses, pigs, chickens, and goats. My horse's name is Frosty. He's a really nice horse. Sometimes he's really sleepy, he doesn't like to walk. I don't think he sleeps in the night or something, but he's really tired. Annalise didn't know when she started playing music years ago that it would end up being so helpful and bringing hope to her and her grandmother when they went through a hard time. So my grandma was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2017. As her grandma fought cancer, Annalise and her accordion constantly kept her grandma's spirits up and helped her to keep fighting. Uh, when I prayed my accordion to my grandma, I would be happy because I would see her happy. She would smile, be like really happy, and my grandpa as well, he would be happy too. I usually play um, one of her favorite songs, which is Let's Praise the Lord, and she loved that song. Annalise sings that song for us. I'm gonna use my hands to praise the Lord. I'm gonna use my hands to praise the Lord. He is worthy to be praised. He is wonderful, marvelous. Lord of lords, kings of kings. Annalise and her grandma held on to hope in Jesus, even though times were hard. What brought me hope was that I would always see her pray. Like in my like opinion, I would be sad when I would see her like drink all those medicines that she would have to drink. But I knew she had hope that God would make a miracle in her. After lots of praying and trusting in Jesus' power, Annalise's grandmother got better. God healed her from cancer. <laughs> Jesus' power gives us hope means to me like Jesus has love for us. Jesus has the power for us to have hope in him. In the Bible, in the book of Psalms, chapter 31, verse 24, it says, So be strong and courageous, all you who put your hope in the Lord. God's always with you. God loves you. God's here for you. God loves everyone equally. He would love you too. Annalise learned that Jesus' power gives us hope. Pause the video for the kid vid discussion. I want you to see your family packet for discussion questions. Wow, boys and girls, it's been a rocking day on the rails today. You know, sometimes happenings in our lives can feel real scary. 
There doesn't seem to be much hope or good in the world. But let me tell you, Jesus, Jesus' power gives us hope, right? Trust Jesus! It feels amazing, special, and even golden when we find hope. But sometimes, boys and girls, you have to keep your eyes open to find it. You have to move aside all that yuckiness just to see it. You have to shine Jesus' light into the dark areas and look oh so close. You know, being your conductor is absolutely fantastic. So before we put the brakes on this trip and say goodbye until tomorrow, we've got one more stop. So everybody, stand up and let's see. in heaven for me this train is bound for glory this train this train is bound for glory this train this train is bound for glory this train this train is bound for glory this is made a place in heaven for me this train is bound for glory this train Okay now, let's bring it down. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. Jesus made a place in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. in heaven for me this train is bound for glory this train